Namaste and welcome. Welcome, beloved ones. We are so grateful that you join us each month to offer us the blessing of tuning in to what we have to say and share uh, through the inspirations that we receive. And this month, March 2016, you know, it's really quite powerful because now the Ascension Escalator, as we've been calling it, that seven-year Ascension ride, with this month, it's been open a full year. It, this started in March 2015. That was when the, the seven-year Ascension portal of 2015 to 2022 really opened. And, oh my God, a lot has happened in a year. Now, remember, just to kind of catch you up on where we are, we are in the middle right now, and if you have not watched our January 2016 or our February, go back, watch them both because everything's building. But we are in the opening of the five-pointed Metronian star, and with March, that star, which remember, the star is already opening, but these points are illuminating and amping the spin, and we're in that very critical point three, and, and that's a big one. Absolutely. And, and just by way of uh, bringing you back into the flow of this, each point carries an energy. You know, the energy of the time is felt and experienced in different ways by different people. And there are, there's always an opportunity to be reactive to the energy of the time or to be responsive to the energy, to work with it or to be stubborn in a sense, to stand as a rock in the river. And humanity has great examples of all stances. All of these, <laughs> all of these opportunities have been uh, demonstrated in the past as a repertoire of possible behaviors. What we encourage you to uh, consider is that you're in a unique space of opportunity. That this period of time is an opportunity unlike any in your lifetime. Yes. Or, yes. Many, or many lifetimes prior. Yeah, really important point. And therefore, let's just throw out the roadmap and be present in our hearts and our consciousness to what is befolding. And that's an interesting choice of words. Yes, is it is. The folding <laughs> for us. We'll tell you more about that in a moment. You know, we really will. But let's let's talk about it. So remember that when this beautiful Metronian star opened, um, it opened with a huge I am presence. And that was all about January. February, so remember, if we think of that five-pointed star, think of it as the body, right? You can go outside or you can stand up right now and become your own five-pointed star. Point one, right? I am. I am. And then if you stretch your arms out, right, you become one, two, three, and your two legs, four, five. Point two, because we go around, so this is point one. This, basically, this hand was point two, and point two, which was February, is all about it is and multidimensionality. So we have this strong declaration, I am. And as we mentioned in January, when the Metronian star arrives, so did its evil twin, which is the inverted pentagram, because the earth has twinned. So we have these two experiences that are overlapping right now. We have this third dimensional energy, which is really hitting uh, a heavy, heavy polarization, and March is going to be a very critical month for that. And then we have this illuminated experience. So where does that bring us to in March? It brings us to the all-powerful B. That's it, B. Now, when the B, meaning we must claim ourselves, comes forward, it means that we are being offered the gift to be free from emotionality because March is all about new beginnings. Now, these new beginnings are a momentum, right? They've already been in process. However, in March, remember, you have the Metronian star or the inverted pentagram. How are these new beginnings manifesting? What are they doing? Where are they taking you? How are you responding to the energy at hand? Is it new beginnings, same old energy? Well, be careful what you ask for. Is it, I recognize the new beginning and I, I'm ready to flourish through it? Because March is a doing month. Be, do, put into action. Don't stand still. Do not, do not stand still. March, you must be and be free from emotionality, which means, you know, it's like, I, I love to use the, the, the metaphor of, of Shiva. It's like, go up to Mount Kailash and sit with the gods and be 
And how would you disperse your wisdom? How would you take charge of your life? How would you move forward? Because the fruit of March will bear will be right for the harvest early in April. It's a big April spring, and right now we're already in the early signs of that kind of global spring. You know, this energy of B is a little confusing to the density brain. <laughs> it's a lot confusing. <laughs> because, as Kiris shared, there is an active principle. Imagine for a moment, just go way back to the moments of creation, creation of planets and galaxies, was there any anxiety? Was there any emotionality? There was simply B. B. And yet there is an excitement, so to speak, an energetic, a kinetic pulse of creation. When you see a seedling burst through the soil and you say, oh, there's a plant, a lot's been going on beneath the surface for the past month. That germination has been happening. So in March, to be, and to be free from emotionality means to be in a state of trust, yes. to be in a state of galactic uh, connection, to know that you are a sacred being having your earthly experience and to be with that and to act within your world in a congruent manner, meaning connected to your heart and your guidance. You know, I love, I love how you're sharing that. I love how Sri is experiencing that, guys, because do you feel the power in that? That, that, that sacred, soft empowerment of the bee. It's a focus, bee. Don't be distracted, avoid distraction. You cannot be if you are distracted because it's only your emotionality that enjoys the distraction, right? So in order to be, it's a focus. And as Sri said so beautifully, it's a trust, it's a presence, it's an essence. And, and we use the term galactic acceptance. It's acceptance of the bigger picture. Now, we're of course offering to you the Metronian star energy. The other thing we have to pay attention to, and you guys know we're not doom and gloomers, a lot of the uh, inverted pentagram energy of the bee is going to really get even nastier in March because remember, this is an active month and the energy of that um, polarized opposite has got a lot of momentum, you know, a what, lot of momentum. What we're referring to here is if you, if you look at the old paradigm of using uh, the truth of, of magical energy, and magical energy exists. Oh yeah. It, using that driven through the emotionality of the human ego, it becomes a manipulative force. How can I control? How can I conjure up Twist. changes in the environment? Exactly. How can I get them to, to conform to my desires? Now, if you look at what's going on in the outer world, you're seeing a almost a caricature of, of, <laughs> of these distorted so energies. True. Well because century. These, Bravo. these hidden, these <laughs> hidden uh, influencers, the quote unquote powers that be, their primary technique to get a hold of your mind and your energy is to stimulate your emotions, yeah. is to create controversy, tragedy, fear, anger, and when things are inflamed, the masses are easier to control. That's just the reality because When you're of at that. peace, when you're at peace with the world, your brain works clearly. You can make intelligent decisions. You're clear that works for me or that doesn't work for me. I cast my vote this way or I choose to live in this place. Clarity is your birthright. There's nothing wrong with the, you know, the dynamic of emotionality as a, a momentary feedback on what you're experiencing. It's not a lifestyle. And the reality shows and the uh, uh, drama and trauma that's so much projected out in our world is turning this level of emotionality into a uh, control mechanism. And you know, if you're watching us on YouTube right now, one of the great things about YouTube is that there's so much sacred song, right? Go find the sacred song that resonates with you. You know, I, I have to share, Shri and I are constantly downloading sacred songs and, and things that are uplifting. And so when we hunt around at YouTube, it's always to find something that brings us joy or makes us get up out of our chairs and dance in sacred union. And I invite you to do the same. You have a choice, so be, and be the best that you can. 
put it into action in March, free from emotionality, because this is another reason why, and I just need to share, that we are, are uh, personally leading people in March and April through the Navigating the Inner Matrix ex yeah. experience. It's really an experience. This is Ascended Mastery Training, and you know, Shri and I kind of retired from teaching this program ourselves many, many years ago, and we were so, I mean, it was really our beloved uh, energies coming through and Shiva and so many others saying, you must teach this live yeah. again. And so we're grateful because there are obviously things that we needed to put into this program since it first came out onto the planet. But this is why, and it's a journey of March and April when this we is feel nine, nine weeks. it's nine weeks of, of Saturdays, whether you're there live or not, optimally you are, but if you're not, you get the recordings. And... I'm encouraging you to consider this. We're actually going to be starting March 5th. And, um, you know, it doesn't matter when in March you're watching this. You can still always take the program as a home study. However, if you caught this early enough in March and you want to join us live, essentially Shri and I are free. We're we're offering the, just the course material cost to you. And, and we're going to personally lead every single class. And for the nine weeks, we're talking about less than a latte a week here, guys. And I really encourage you to be to focus, to give yourself the gift of this program because if you were to do one program this year, this is the one that will stay with you the rest of your life. Absolutely, absolutely. It's truly powerful, proven, and effective. I mean, this is more than a toothpaste for the soul. You know, this, <laughs> this is truly uh, uh, world-class training uh, yeah. on calling yeah. forth your mastery, your empowerment at the spiritual level and resolving the emotional uh, discord that's held you back. It's a beautiful course in that regard. And another thing that I encourage you to take a look at uh, we'll run a little ticker down at the bottom of the screen is Tosa Miracle Team dot com. Tosa T O S A Miracle Team dot com. Yeah, go and go just go check it out because deep inside of you, you're a miracle maker maker already. And we encourage you to go find out how you can really activate that consciously. And be with other beings who are consciously choosing to affect miracles in their lives and on our planet. And for those of you that are already part of our miracle membership network, which we are just beyond humbled at, at your presence all the time. Make sure you go into your forums and check out my new series on life lessons from the Gita. I've been posting daily life lessons from the Gita. It brings me incredible joy to be chatting with you that way. Shri has a wonderful new forum going on in there. Some of our other members have started forums. Remember all you members, you can start your own forums and Shri and I are in there every day. It's our honor and joy to connect with you. And, and for those of you that have yet to discover it, TosaMiracleTeam.com. We would love to meet you there. So, beloved ones, until we have the joy to be with you again in this way, or join us on our radio show, which is live every Sunday. And call, although you do. <laughs> do I keep calling? <laughs> Truly feel our hearts envelop your heart and your soul as we say to you, we love you, we respect you. And be, let it be <laughs> amazing. Take action, move forward, because it's all going to manifest in April. Everything you do in March is going to come back to you in April. So let it be. Let it we be. love you. Namaste.